Hi, I'm Ian Anderson. I'm an Apple certified trainer. I train for MacProVideo.com and for CoreMelt. And this is the new MacBook Pro driving two 5K screens there. This is it alone. It looks really good. The reason I'm showing you this and why it's kind of exciting is that this machine isn't accessible yet. I'm here at the Final Cut Pro Creative Summit in Cupertino, and we got special access as part of the summit to a session at Apple where we got shown the awesome new Final Cut 10.3. Uh, I've got a review live from Mac Pro Video, you can check that out if you like. But we got to see the new MacBook Pro as well. As you can see here in the shots, you can maybe access a timeline, and you can scrub through the timeline or even zoom the timeline using the touch bar. But you can also then switch tools or get access to little buttons which aren't accessible usually, like trim buttons. It's context sensitive and switchable, so it changes depending on what you're doing at the time. The touch bar is 64 pixels high, so you've got a bit you can do with it, and you can show the whole timeline. Uh, the keyboard did feel good. I liked it. I'm looking forward to using it. I use a regular desktop keyboard, and this didn't annoy me in the same way the MacBook took a little bit of getting used to. Uh, Touch ID looks like it'll be really useful too. I hope this video was useful for you and uh, thanks for watching.